Hello and welcome to More Than Organized Monday. I'm Miriam Ortiz Pino, and today we're going to be talking about um, joy and what the truth is about joy and letting go. Because, you know, most of us are pretty familiar with Marie Kondo and what she said about um, keep the things that spark joy. But I actually have a feeling that the joy actually results in the experience of letting go and having access to the things that you want to um, experience, that you want to play with, that you want to um, look at because they spark joy. And if you don't deal with the letting go aspect, even if it brings joy, you can't really enjoy it if you don't have access, right? It's about access. It's about what gets to happen once you know where your things are and what you're going to work on next. It's all of that. Um, so how can you create an easier pathway to letting go of those things in your way? It's to tie it to the actual, sorry about that. In case you heard my dryer buzzer going off, I totally forgot to un undo the door to the dryer so it wouldn't buzz while we were live. Um, okay, so if you want to let go of things, tie the reason you're getting rid of it to the joy you'd like to experience on the other end. What is it about creating space in this particular room or area of a room? Are you, what are you trying to accomplish there? Are you trying to create room to craft or paint or write or hang out with the kids on the floor or pet the dog? What do you need this space to do? Is it more welcoming? Is it just so you're not tripping over stuff on the way in the house? It would make your house more joyful if you weren't tripping over things all over the place, right? So think about it that way. What is the end result you are looking for when you are decluttering? And that will help tie it always to the joy you're trying to create. And then notice the joy you do get. I mean, I've had clients that actually tell me they open their sock drawer after we organize it just to experience a little joy in their day. So what are the little things you can let go of and create joyful spaces in um, much more than just does this thing spark joy? Now, on, this, on the other hand, with the sparking joy, what are your criteria? What does joy look like to you, right? What is is does it feel good does it feel good and look good on you you know the textures of things is it that um someone really special gave it to you and is that person the joy or is the thing they gave you the joy you got to learn a little discernment as well but um yeah i want to i want to know what you think does joy come from the letting go or from the hanging on or is it a nice combination of both? Anyway, create joy in the form of experience. How do you experience joy? And see what that does for your decluttering efforts. All right, I will see you next week. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe, like, follow, comment, turn on your notifications and tell all your friends because it's more fun to do it with friends. And in the meantime, have a delightful day.